welcome to my laboratory. Okay, so this is going to illustrate what I call the um, non-contact magnetic trailer hitch effect. I've got an NDB magnet sliding inside a plastic tube and we're strongly backlit here because this tube is not actually transparent, it's just translucent. So I want to emphasize the position of the magnet by the backlight so it's in shadow. And here I have an NDB ring magnet that's conveniently sized to fit around the tube. Okay. Now, as you can see, <laughs> the ring magnet repels the cylinder magnet quite well. And we're all familiar with this particular kind of levitation. Uh, it's just repulsion. And if, but if I, and it's not a stable position because if I turn it over, that NDB magnet will just fall out. Gravity and magnetic repulsion. Right? Okay. Now this is the basis for the so-called Gauss gun. If I take a little wooden plunger here and push that NDB magnet past the ring magnet, First it locks into position, and then if I push it even past that, it shoots out the other end, bang, with considerable force, and I have to go and find it. Okay, no surprises there. All right, but what I want to illustrate is what happens when you turn one or the other of the magnets around. Now, you'll notice that there's a space in there, a gap. That cylinder magnet is hanging down below the ring magnet. Okay, and they're quite solidly locked in that position. If I take my little plunger and stick it up in there, you can see from the shadow band that it's it resists a push. It wants to stay in there. I can't push it easily into the hole or past the magnet. And very clearly that is a stable position. The magnet stays in that position even when it would tend to fall out. So we've got this levitation and stable lock in that position against a push force from either direction, a push force or what you might consider to be a pull force. Here I'm pushing it from the top and you can see that it snaps back into that stable position. Now from this stable position, if I do the little Gauss gun trick, I'm going to push it through the hole with the plunger. Bang! That's a much greater acceleration out the end in the Gauss gun configuration. Now it's possible, I'm not going to show this on this video, but it's possible using a similar oriented configuration with flat magnets to make a chain of cars or railroad cars if you like that will stay in this fixed relationship to one another. That is, they won't be touching, but they will happily follow along behind each other, whether you are pushing them or pulling them. They will stay in that same non-contact configuration. And of course this configuration allows free rotation. So if uh, a, a means could be found to stabilize the magnets without having the tube there, you'd have a, a, basically a non-contact freely rotatable trailer hitch that would transmit pushes and pulls even in, in space. Thanks for watching.